Today we will have uh, two presenter. One is uh, Kim uh, from uh, UITM uh, Madam Pau, and uh, another one will be me uh, uh, live from uh, USM Jering Campus. Okay, um, we have two uh, interesting topic. Uh, hopefully, um, uh, we get. Um, some benefit from it by sharing these uh, topics uh, and uh, one of the main uh, purpose of this webinar actually want to uh, uh, expose or to uh, make our lab known by others lah. Uh, maybe uh, today uh, will not get uh, enough uh, audience, but uh, after this, I will share this uh, video uh, in the YouTube, our YouTube channel. So hopefully from that, uh, we can get uh, uh, another audience. All right. Uh, without further delay, uh, I would like to uh, call Hakim to share his uh, his study or his research uh, during his PhD or uh, during his past in as an academician at uh, UITM Matamau. All right. Uh, without uh, in delay, I think I would like to call Hakim. Uh, to share his, uh, his his research, him. Okay, you can start when you are ready. Uh, uh, up to you to take uh, uh, how long. <laughs> okay, we have about uh, three to five, uh, and later me probably not that long, probably uh, up to half an hour. I think. Uh, up to you to take uh, how long you want. All right, you can start when you are ready. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, hopefully all of you can hear me. It's okay. Sound. I just share my screen. Uh, can you see my screen? Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Tak 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 dengar. Saya cakap. Dengar Kim? Dengar? Okay, okay. Okay, uh, nampak share screen? Ya, yeah, ya, yeah. nampak share screen. Okay, saya... Uh, share... And suara boleh dengar lah. Okay. Uh, I stop my video first. Uh, okay. Uh, Selamat pagi. Uh, uh, good evening. Assalamualaikum, good evening to all my friends, to my supervisor, Dr. Baha. Uh, today, I would like to share my, my research study. My research study. Uh, okay, I would like to share my research. Okay, sekarang, uh, I share my screen. Uh, do you all can see this, this slide? Clear? Yeah, nampak slide? Okay, share slide. Okay, share slide. What slide show? Ah, share slide show. Okay, okay. 
So to, today, uh, I would like to share my 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 research, my study, my PhD study. Uh, the title on the development of the ceramic cutting tool it is object TA based zirconia tapna alumina base and its machining performance in hard turning. Okay, my name is Muhammad Nasir Bayasan. I'm previously full time student, but after COVID, I have stopped it uh, until now. So right now, I will start begin to to uh, study back to try to hopefully I can have a uh, spirit to continue my my my, my mission okay okay uh, I, I would like to share my journey and as long as uh, uh, to the I would, I would like to share today okay all right so okay so the content of my sharing season this evening is uh, in, in production background to research problem statement research objective methodology and this is not current, uh, current progress at the result of the result of my research okay so go to the section of introduction first all right uh, so technology enhancement in machine tool cnc computer edit design and manufacturing cutting tool and high speed machining and others in the last couple of decades uh, increase the the importance of turning role in industry such as aerospace dye and mold automotive component manufacturing huh? Adam, please silent. Adam. Ada, 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 uh, ada, ada, silent. Okay. Ah, uh, right. So turning is machining process, uh, which are cutting to mobile linear while the piece rotate and usually is uh, performed in lead machine. Okay, it's usually performed in lead machine. Uh, there are various type of turning but uh, usually is using single point cutting tools okay uh, different like different as a, a milling milling can use a multiple cutting 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 tool but in turning it's only single point cutting tool the tool move linearly uh, while the work is rotated okay so instead of tips is the most commonly used as a cutting tool uh, a tip tool or insert generally refer to any cutting tool where the cutting edge consists of a separate piece of material okay uh, usually the this insert this insert uh, well, is screw brace or clamp into the separate body called tool holder okay this is uh, the, the white one is Insert uh, this the body is a tool holder. Okay, so turning hard metal. So there are various type of material that we want to machine, and uh, nowadays they are turning uh, hard metal, but they are doing uh, in a high speed machining. So we'll generate a city at the cutting tool. So this elasticity of the cutting tool will uh, lower the strength, lower the hardness and wear resistance of the cutting tool, and probably lead to the wear problem. So this tool may experience premature failure, resulting in shorter tool life and poor surface finish of the workpiece. So the main uh, factor that influences performance uh, is to come to the hardness, to the hardness of the cutting tool. Uh, where perform wear resistance, uh, fracture toughness, and uh, chemical inertness. Okay, this four type that usually influence the perform performance of cutting tool. So the wear problem, the wear problem, this wear problem has been investigated by other researchers in the world, but uh, they could not be completely solved. 
So I show to you, show to to, to you all, uh, just three, yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe hundred thousand that doing this. But I, I show to you the same thing, Kuma, the, uh, the corner of the alumina, and then mix with the titanium carbide and titanium nitride uh, as uh, other material to strengthen to make the zirconia more hard. Uh, increase the hardness, increase the toughness. Then we uh, perform the cutting tool uh, using hard metal, PN24 steel with hardness HRC 40 to 45. And other research shall be they use three different tools they use alumina uh, based ceramic tool, they use uh, PCBN tool, poly, polycrystalline cubic boron nitride, and coated polycrystalline. Cubic boron nitride too. This uh, CBN, uh, polycrystalline uh, second to the diamond uh, in hardness. So the, the, the diamond, the first, the, the hardness material in the world is the hardness. The second one is polycrystalline cubic boron nitride. Uh, the third one is CBN. So the, the, the different phase on CB, in CBN. Uh, they increase to the polycrystalline phase, make the uh, this material more 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 hardness. Uh. Uh. So they investigate into life and cutting cost in hardening D two two steel. So this uh shall be this shall be the funding. Uh, this shall be uh. He conclude that alumina based he conclude that alumina based ceramic to result in less cutting force and increase to life compared to PCBN tools. When he uh, machine investigate the machine happening D2 steel, uh, the he found he found that uh, alumina based ceramic tool. So alumina based ceramic tool maybe his. Uh, Add with the other material to make this alumina based ceramic tool more more hard, and he found that alumina perform better than PCBN two. But uh, as they said, the thickness of the ceramic limit its application. And other Liu found that the different uh, at the different test cutting speed, abrasive wear, and adhesive wear were identified as the main failure mechanism for the ceramic cutting tool during continuous spinning of uh, grey cast iron. Okay. Just a three of the various researchers doing uh, or investigate way of the cutting tool. So, uh, actually there is a various options to solve this problem. So one of uh, the problem, one, one of the, the, the option is to fabricate and insert from a new mixture of ceramic material that causes good material properties. Uh, the, the, the mechanical properties, that the important mechanical properties that you want to improve is uh, high hardness and high fracture toughness. The structural toughness of the ceramic tool usually very low because their nature is brittle. So these two properties are crucial for cutting tool to withstand during machining of hard metal. Uh, development of the new advanced super hard tool material such as ceramic insert, cubic boron nitride. Uh, Polycrystalline CBN, cubic boron nitride, and other so enable the turning of this hard metal. Uh, alumina, alumina based, alumina based ceramic is considered to be one of the most suitable tool material because uh, their nature of uh, characteristic that have a uh, high hardness, wear resistant, and uh, chemical inertness. So, uh, 
but uh, in the other hand the alumina based ceramic also high, have high degree of brightness we usually lead, uh, short to life due to excessive tipping or fracture especially when machining hard material because the nature of the the brightness characteristic in uh, ceramic based material or alumina based material okay so in in order uh, we want to improve the the the, the toughness so alumina based ceramic cutting tool are usually reinforced with uh, YZ yttria stabilized zirconia titanium carbide titanium nitride uh, zirconia oxide uh, at as a addition okay so one of the promising uh, material to straighten the alumina is zirconia so ZPA, also known as zirconia toughness alumina, is the one of the potential advanced ceramic that can be used in high speed machining as a cutting set. So uh, the the research found that uh, twenty percent, twenty percent of this YZ zirconia stable zirconia, and eighty percent of alumina. That's the best combination to create ZPA zirconia toughness alumina. So the uh, this is a fig 20, 20, 80% of alumina and 20% of zirconia. And uh, adding other rare particles such as cerium oxide, lanthanum oxide, or nabion oxide may further improve the hardness and toughness of zirconia. Uh, last, last thing here, I, 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 I add with magnesium oxide. Uh, magnesium oxide. So this. We, we add on uh, cerium oxide, lanthanum oxide, nabium oxide, may, may, may improve uh, the hardness. So, due to enhance hardness, uh, the lack of this material experience fracture of failure or and premature failure when machining is reduced. So, uh, Rajab, or uh, other researcher, they have found that. Uh, from the previous research, ZPA pre prepared with the cerium oxide uh, with a 5% weight edit addition into ZPA show an increase of 30% in fracture toughness compared to ZPA without additive. So this uh, the 30% uh, 5% increase of cerium oxide, 5% increase of cerium oxide into ZTA, uh, ZTA matrix can result, uh, may result 30% increasing in fracture toughness compared to the previous, that is result additive. So, serum oxide is known to increase the fracture toughness of ZTA. And other researchers found that right amount of lanthanum oxide may increase the hardness properties of ZTA. So the 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 serum oxide acting to to increase the fracture toughness and lanthanum oxide is uh working on increase hardness of the ZTA and also the right amount of lanthanum may increase wear resistance and bulk density of alumina ceramic. But okay, yes, we come to the problem statement. So as we know now, uh, serum oxide have resulted in fracture toughness, the increase in the fracture toughness, and lanthanum may result in increasing hardness in that geometric. So this the problem uh, come to the this problem talk statement. The excessive heat at the cutting zone is one of the current issue while turning hard metal at speed so this situation may lead to the construction of the wear at the cutting to faster okay this this tool may experience premature failure resulting in shorter to life all right cutting tool of uh hard metal ASP require the use of tool that have exceptional hardness and fracture toughness and one of the option is to develop and insert from the mixture that have 
good mechanical properties. So past literature have proposed the addition of sodium oxide and or lanthanum oxide into ZTA based ceramic tools, which shown to have improved in hardness and fracture toughness. Okay. Uh, however, the mechanical properties and cutting performance with this combined serum oxide and lanthanum oxide material with ZTA has not been investigated yet by other researchers. Uh, as we know, the cutting tool must possess a good material property such as hardness and fracture toughness. But this material just increase, uh, optimize the one of this material, one of this uh, mechanical characteristic only. Uh, serum oxide acting on fracture toughness, but lanthanum oxide acting on hardness. So they are, they are not combined. Is this is this? Uh, they are not combined these two uh, material into the ZTA metric. So, also uh, the cutting performance of two fabricated fabricate using this mixture has not has yet to be tested in actual machining application. This this research only happened in material type, but they are they are proposed this combination is the best for the 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 material for cutting insert but they have uh, not yet test in the actual machining application so the need of testing of this combination of the ta based ceramic tool for hard cleaning at hard, high cutting speed must be done to assess the tool life of the cutting tool that indicate the tool machining performance So that comes to the my research objective. Uh, so this the research objective who identify as first to optimize the weight percentage of lanthanum oxide to be mixed with ZTA plus serum oxide on hardness and fracture toughness value. Second one to investigate the machining performance of this mixture, fabricate as cutting tool. Uh, on hard cleaning of uh, not AI is ID2, uh, forgot to, to change of uh, two, two, three, uh, two, three, two, three, two, three, seven, nine, two, still, two, three, two, three, seven, nine, two, three, seven, nine, two, still. It's not uh, AI is ID2, it's actually I think to the workpiece. 2379 to speed. Coding to the ISO uh, 3685 published in 1993. So the third one, uh, the third one actually to determine the Tumian machine parameter into life. Okay, but I'm not mentioned here because the, the result still pending. So the scope, uh, only this works will focus to examine the machining performance of ceramic material developed as an insert for turning hard metal in lead machine. So therefore, this research will investigate the potential of this insert, uh, reinforced with both serum oxide and lanthanum oxide, and cutting to performance will be evaluated according to the average flame wear of the tool and surface roughness of the machine of the workpiece okay there there will be result to two things uh, first uh flame wear the the, the flame wear of the tool and the second the surface roughness of the workpiece so the tool life that indicate insert performance will be evaluated according to the average which uh, average width flame wear of 0 0.3 mm so according to the ISO uh, 3685, the maximum average width of flank wear is 0 0.3. At speed 0 0.3 mm, the tool is considered to be to be wear, to be one. Okay. So testing only maximum level is 0 0.3.
And what piece of roughness was evaluated to the maximum average roughness, RA, of 1.6 micron, according to the ISO 468. Okay, after, actually, after scope, there must be a picture review. Picture review, chapter 2. But the change we will take uh, more time. So I skip the review, come to the methodology. Okay, this is the overall project of my research. Starting, prepare the powder. Preparing the powder according uh, to the powder methodology. Mixing uh, ZTA with 5% CE. Actually, first, uh, mixing alumina with nitrous tablet, zirconia, 80, 20. Then, add with 5% weight of CE, serum oxide. Then, added with different addition of lanthanum oxide, produce insert. So, the insert will be 0 0.5 lanthanum oxide, 0.7% lanthanum oxide, and 1%. Actually, there's another one, 0. 0 0.3 uh 0%, 0 percent zero percent means uh ZTA serum oxide only zero percent uh lanthanum oxide zero point three percent lanthanum zero point five zero point seven and one point one point uh one percent okay so run experiment first experiment turning experiment get result get the uh the result will be op optimized optimization of the lanthanum oxide. The weight of the lanthanum oxide to be added on ZTAC serum matrix. Then uh, the second one is mixing ZTA serum with the best weight percentage of lanthanum produce insert. Run second experiment according to the ISO 3685. And then uh, Run with run run the experiment again with commercially available insert. Okay, get machining performance result, then comparison. The third one, uh, experiment. The third one will be run according to the Taguchi method. So get machining parameter result, then validate the optimize optimization optimization uh, the machining parameter. Final result re record and uh, report. Okay, the first one. Investigate the optimum material composition of the DA reinforced with serum and lanthanum. So this this composition with the highest value for was recorded for the sample with five percent addition of serum. Then uh, different addition of lanthanum will be prepared 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, and one percent with addition. So each powder prepared with, by the wet milling, wet milling method. Powder uh, drying in oven, then crushing to, 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 to fine powder, then compress using triangular to steel die. After that, green, green insert uh, was present. Press again using full isotopic pressing. Then sintering to produce insert. So the available insert run uh, in turning experiment according to this cutting condition and this cutting condition. So this is the uh, type and size tool holder geometry. Then work specimen, work piece, uh, my steel only. So this because this this the, the objective is uh, want to find the best want to optimize the best composition. So just a simple way is uh, the result. Simple way is okay. I was alright to 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 find the, the 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 best composition. Then process parameter, the speed. Six, six, o RPM 
equivalent to the one or three meter per minute. The cutting, the the, the cutting speed. Speed rate will be zero point two three. The of cut zero point three. Cutting length will be hundred mm. But to make the wear more, the appearance of the wear more more obvious. So this machining will be repeat ten times. Okay, hundred and run ten times. Then uh, after that we measure the the the, the wear. So flank wear measurement will perform according to ISO three six eight five published in nineteen ninety three review two thousand seventeen page thirty common criteria for tool of ceramic. Okay. So this the way where the way of solution at the flank area of ceramic cutting insert was carefully investigated. So the flank wear image were captured using a digital microscope that is Shenzhen hot electric technology. So the image captured then upload in image J uh, image analysis software. So using the image we take the measurement of the Average VB, okay, VB that's a uh, width of the flank wear. So this is the the flank wear at the the side that contact with the uh, side contact with the workpiece new generic workpiece. Actually, this will be two side two side contact. The crater wear will contact with the chip, okay, chip that produce while machining and this flank 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 area contact with the new generic space of the workpiece so the flank we taken and the flank where we were taken as a criteria because this flank where actually will have a uh, will influence the surface Roughness of the new generic space. So if this wear were bad, worse wear will influence to worse uh, generate lah new generic space of the workpiece. Okay. Okay. Uh, right. So I think to continue. I continue. Uh, Okay, this uh the uh, example of the procedure when uh when measure or uh, when when get, taking the image of the flankware. This is the 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 flankware, the flankware. So the image taken. This image will be uploaded in image here. Image uh, analysis software, then the measurement uh, will be conducted according to the standard procedure. Okay. Then, um, okay, part two. After getting the right amount of the weight percentage of the term site that to be added with the TA, TE, serial site. So the insert powder metal process were conducted according as mentioned, as mentioned before. Then the machining operation was designed according to the ISO 3685 cutting condition 1993. But this time in the section of the two life testing with single point cut turning to procedure, which proposed four different cutting speed. Okay, this ISO. Uh, propose when we want to testing uh, the new material okay acting as a single point turning tool so at least four different cutting speed must be taken so the the cutting speed the four four highest cutting speed four highest cutting speed available at, at machine at the the delete machine was selected then I select two feet rate uh 
to fit rate and depth of cut. So depth of cut because hard metal was introduced as a test, testing workpiece. So the depth of cut uh, will be in finishing mode. Okay. Late turning, we have finishing, we have uh, roughing. Roughing, we, we take out as many as we can. The meter removable rate. But the depth of cut, uh, the maximum depth of cut for finishing is 0 0.3. is to create the better surface finish at the workpiece. So hard metal, uh, 2, 3, 7, 9, 2 steel. So this two steel had similar characteristic to AI, AI SI2 or SKD 11 steel, which are common two steel material for tool and die fabrication. So the average tested roughness is 42 HRC. See this two three. Two three seven nine two steel. Then the flank wear with measurement were measured according as I mentioned before. Okay, uh, table 3.5 tool geometry categorization. Uh, actually, this ISO designation for coding for this our is it ENMN 060308FR. Then this the designation code for tool holder. Geometry approach will be 75, clearance angle and right angle. Then the specimen workpiece diameter is 42, machine 2 is uh, late GET GH. This is the, 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 the name of the late machine. So process parameter for highest speed at the late machine. Uh, this RPM equivalent to speed of 87, 114, actually uh, above 100, above 1, 150, 100 is considered as uh, high speed turning. So this high speed thing, 185, 184 meter per minute and 237 meter per minute. Fit rate, two fit rate. Second, the off cut 0 0.2. The, the 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 first the first procedure might still uh 0 0.3, but this time I was advised by the technician this is hard material, so not to do 0 0.3. Uh, lower the the depth of cut, so I take 0 0.2 mm. Cutting cutting line still 100. This 100 meter. 100 meter or 10 mm cutting environment dry so comparison uh, I search for the cutting tool they have this the same designation ISO designation code okay ISO designation code this the best one that I can find uh, alumina base alumina base but the the recipe is secret they won't tell what's the ingredient inside it so maybe after this i uh the next step i will perform X, xrd testing to find out what the the secret recipe the secret material inside this material okay so this alumina based commission insert was uh, chosen from Sandvik Chromium tool. So running same operation with uh, this one and workpiece also and uh, same. Okay. All right. The result of part one: produce insert of ZTA and ZTA cerium oxide with different addition of lanthanum. So machining parameter according to the journal of role of magnesium oxide nanoparticle 2006. So uh, this uh, my, my my research in 2010 magnesium oxide only nanoparticle. They are, they are further they are this study adding nanoparticle. 
of nanoparticle much more expensive so they are not continue this research this this material uh, so that, that's why they explore other material like uh, cerium and tenum nobium uh, so result uh, this uh, machine let machine let machine then machining parameter uh piece in my skin the meter 45 mm 100 meter 100 meter 100 100 mm length on this not 100 100 only so this actual turning uh using uh the fabric insert so the highest value of the the highest value for hard, hardness value and fracture toughness value so obtain with the 0 0.7 weight addition of lanthanum oxide into ZPA serum which is hardness value uh, 1703 and fracture toughness is 8.2 8 it is the, the, the highest value of all the various composition and the average flank wear the average width of the average width flank wear obtained also for the the best one is 0 0.7 0 0.7 uh, weight composition that is uh, 0 0.151 mm so this is the smallest width of the flank wear Okay, so this is the result, uh, the actual picture. This is uh, pure aluminum oxide. Alu alumi alumina, pure alumina. Pure alumina, uh, 0 0.332 mm. So the, the flank wear will be, take five measurement, this, this area. Okay. By measurement divide by five, then I will get about three C two. Need that the A plus serum, five percent serum. Then is about three point zero point three. Okay, zero point three. Uh, the second one, the second one, uh, the second best is is addition of zero point five. So for the average, uh, flank wear. This is the area of the flank wear. Okay. The maximum, they, they, they have the VV max. According to the ISO, the maximum, uh, maximum label. If we measure the maximum label of flank wear, it not exceed 0 0.6. But that's for not average area. Uh, they mean, at a certain area only, they have wear a certain area, a smallest area. So we take the uh, maximum flank wear. But if we look at this picture, this area, so we have a large, large, large area of, of wear. So the criteria must be average flank wear. So take five measurement. Take from measurement, divide, so I get 0 0.6. 0 0.16. For this one, 0 0.5. Uh, this 0 0.7. This one. Okay. This is the, the contact area. For insert with uh, what piece? 0 0.151. So it's the smallest one where and further increasing the lanthanum oxide uh, will deteriorate the composition of this ZTA 5% serum. Okay, above 0 0.7, maybe at 0. Point something lah. So, what, what I test is 1.0. So, the average increase 0 0.249 mm. Okay, so the best composition is 0 0.7. So, uh, the best composition is like this, 0 
So the, the, the first objective was achieved, then continue to the second objective. Okay, actually the 0 .0 0.7 also uh, uh, previous researcher, previous researcher also find 0 0.7 less than the side is the best composition into the stream metric. So I have proof in missioning, but they have they are, they are, they are only proof on hardness, fracture toughness, and other material. Uh, mechanical uh, characteristic. Uh. So this research proof that 0 0.7 in machining test provide better than other composition. Okay, uh, part two, part two, part two. Investigate the machining composition, the right amount of nobium. Oh, nobium no, no nobium. Actually, uh, I do it to composition. I test the composition of BM oxide and lanthanum oxide. Uh, although I'm straight on lanthanum uh, oxide only. Okay, nobium oxide, uh, the best one is 0 0.3%. Uh, 3%. 3% provide the smallest flame wave. Okay, and then this I concentrate on lanthanum oxide. So I the, the insert was prepared, but this time, according to ISO, the maximum average uh, flangware must not exceed 0 0.3. So we taken time to life that, that considered as a tool performance was taken as a criteria for this uh, machining performance. So I, I go back for to the okay. machining parameter. Okay, machining parameter that's exposed. Why not mention that? Okay. The second one objective actually want to measure the two life of the insert of this insert. The second one, the second operation, the second turning operation is Actually, the to measure the two life. Two life mean we make, we we take the time for machining. So this uh, insert, how long can this insert withstand until it reach zero point three mm? See, it reach zero point three mm in measurement in in flame wave measurement. Uh, so calculate it. So we get the uh, time that uh, point to the two life of the insert so the two life of the insert uh, actually uh, stated as the uh, insert machining insert 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 performance uh, insert performance okay so this is the second one, second objective. Uh, okay, second objective. Uh, I I have I don't have enough time to prepare the, 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 the best one. So I take the maximum one only. The maximum maximum time. Maximum time of of machining time, machining time for this item. Insert fabricated insert at six, six zero RPM at the speed of uh, six zero feet rate zero point feet rate zero 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 eleven uh, mm per revolution okay zero point one one mm per revolution so this is the summary of second of second machining. Okay, at the uh, speed of 660 RPM. So the this this uh, fabricated insert reach 15 minutes. 15 minutes. And the maximum wear is 0, 0 0.3, above 0 0.3. 
Okay. Then uh, the one, the sambic two, sambic two is red, red one. Sambic two reach uh, the life of the two twenty two minutes. Okay, they have a big gap here, fifteen minute, fifteen second and twenty two second. So the second machining at zero eight hundred seventy RPM. The Fabricated insert managed to reach 11.5 minutes while uh, same bit only 15.6 minutes. So the gap is reduced. The gap for the second machining is reduced. The third machining 0 1400 RPM. This fabricated insert managed to get better than. Sandbit. So it reached uh, 10 minutes, 10.3 minutes, while Sandbit for Sandbit only reached uh, 9 minutes only. Then the highest, the highest speed available at the machine, at the late machine. Generally, both tool only manage to get 3 minutes and 5 minutes. Because uh, I think the, 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 the vibration, the maximum one, the maximum one, the maximum is uh, the maximum the speed at the machine uh, result and greater vibration at uh, create greater vibration uh, compared to the other speed. So I think because of the vibration, this two in two two this uh both two cannot survive more than what uh, cannot achieve to get more machining time compare the others uh machining speed okay this at the speed of at the feet of 0 0.11 so the second speed the second speed 0. Point, the second feet speed rate 0 0.23 so at all speed, the machine, the 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 the, the result uh, provide the same pattern as previous speed. So the the, the first speed at uh, then the previous uh, feed rate at the first speed, the first speed the gap is wider, then it uh, reduce at the second speed. Okay, and the third speed. Zero uh, forty hundred RPM. This ZEA provide better performance, better machining performance compared to Sandbit. And at the highest speed, the actual uh, or, or the the, the uh, vibration have affected to make the speed uh related in the lower machine time okay all right this the the conclusion only actually i i should present this table like this i i should i should uh present this machining this time this machining time compare with the average firmware so from the first machining, from the first machining like this, uh, this uh, first speed, this at uh, uh, zero zero point speed rate, speed rate zero zero eleven, zero point one one speed speed rate this. Okay, so this the series of uh, speed, the first speed. The second speed, third, and then fourth speed. So the fourth one, the highest speed, the two like and faster. So if we measure on the machining time, the best one is obtained with the lower speed. Okay, but 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 actually, if we compare, uh, if we compare the machining 
the matter remove the matter remove i would like to say the this provide better this speed 1400 speed provide better than the other uh is it 1400 1400 manage to get uh at 26 time 26 26 while the others below 20 initially okay. can extend to 26 uh initially that means the, 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 first, the, the first round, second round, third round, until 26 round, and the wear reach 0 0.3. Okay. The best one is at this speed rate, 0 0.23, uh, cutting speed at 184 meter per minute. So this fabricated insert managed to machine until 26 round 26 round while the sandbit coroman or sandbit coroman only manage to get 25 in okay, the commission so the highest machining round highest machining round or the highest meter remove remove obtain this this composition this parameter composition so the other one uh, i think below 20 yeah this uh, 16 round this only 11 11 11 round 17 17 round uh, fit rate 0 0.23 uh, 800 rpm the best one 11 11 round uh, 2 3 fit rate 0 0.23 the best one is 18 round so this uh, at 1400 speed rate of 0 0.23 the best one is 26 okay. then it should be presented this way is better but uh, today i have a program this but the alarm so actually i think today i want to do it like this drop but i have a program with the alarm this morning I have a class, then I go to to the program. Uh, so I managed to only to to do it this summary of the compa comparison between fabricated insert and commercial available insert. Right. So I think I would like to end one hour. I would like to end my 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 my. Uh, I would like to end my. I would like to end my presentation. All right, thank you. So if you want, uh, if you have anything to ask, feel free to do so. Thank you. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Uh, thank you, Hakim, for the very interesting presentation. Uh, I would like to open to the floor. Uh, is there any question? I think we have about uh, 13 or 14 uh, uh, attendees. Okay, anybody want to ask Hakim a question? Okay, uh, okay, I will, I will, I will. Can, uh, I will start first. Probably uh, that will uh, encourage others to ask later. Okay. Um, in general, we know that. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, in general, we know that uh, uh, when we increase the hardness of a material, usually the brittleness of the material also increase. How how you compromise that in this case? Ah, uh, in this material uh material material characteristic if we increase the hardness the fracture toughness will decrease yeah berkadar songsang lah inverse ah ah di sini berkadar songsang english right dia 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 the relationship between this hardness and uh, hardness and fracture toughness ah 
Bukan dah songsang. Apa lah English ni. Serius lah. If we increase the hardness, the fracture toughness will decrease. So we added uh, material to increase the fracture toughness. Usually the hardness will decrease. And at the other hand, if we uh, like we uh, added the material, added material to increase the hardness, the fracture toughness will decrease. Or if we want to increase the hardness, the fracture toughness. Hardness will be decreased. This the 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 common uh, found on ceramic material. Uh, so the 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 best one is we find the the optimized uh, material, the optimized the optimized uh, one material to be added. Then we fix the material, add it with other material lah, add it with the other material. Like uh, in this composition, uh, serum outside, serum outside, serum outside, the best one to increase fracture toughness. Uh, so the peak, peak fracture toughness at 0 0.5. Okay. Uh, okay, this, this uh, serum outside is known to increase the fracture toughness. So 5% is the best one. So we fit 5% of the serum oxide into the ZTA matrix. Then we find the best composition of lanthanum oxide. Okay. Uh, increase with, uh, find with this uh, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 1% addition. So both increase fracture toughness and hardness. All right. Okay. Uh, thank you, Kim. Uh, any other question from uh, uh, chat box? Inverse proportional. Uh, inverse proportional. Okay. Uh, any uh, last call? Last call? Any any question? Hi, Assalamualaikum. Dengar tak? Allah. Hi, Akim. And Tawah. Prof Tawah. Tuan Guru. Sepi. Oh, yeah, yeah. Akim, okay. uh, I think uh, you just mentioned in the slide uh, you use Taguchi method to optimize. Uh, ah. Yeah. So, may I know which and what parameter you optimize for your study? Taguchi method, uh, eh, mana table ni? Bukan table ni. Taguchi method, ya. Yeah. Yeah. Taguchi method, I show you in chapter 3 lah, chapter 3. Chapter 3, Taguchi method. Uh, this one, three label, uh, ANOVA, uh, LC, octagonal array. Okay, I see. So, uh, basically, you uh, optimize the machining parameter instead of uh, material parameter. I mean, no, uh, the machining parameter. So, you not uh, do any combine uh, in terms of what we call uh, material. Uh, additive something like uh what no okay because uh because we want to make machining machining side of machining more more what nah? Robert. the percentage of machining machining works must be more than material because i'm registered in phd in machining I see. So basically, uh, you you uh, you create one uh, the best uh, insert, and then just optimize the machining parameter lah. Yeah, the best. Yeah, wait, wait. The best. Uh, the best composition. The best 
commission uh, found by material side, material zero point seven. So my my research, my objective one is to confirm that in machining. My objective one, yeah, is to confirm the finding in machining. That's why I'm run the investigation on milling, turning first round with various composition. Mana, mana. Ah, so I take the various composition, run uh, experiment on late, late machining, and I found, I found that 0 0.7 is provide the smallest plane wear. So my conclusion, uh, after this, is, this running, 0 0.3 is the best one for machining, 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 uh, machining experiment and also they are found in what, what they are found on uh material side material side the hardness value the fracture stand value the best one is obtained with 0 0.7 so the the finding is what? the finding is similar and then similar also with the other researcher that doing with the same composition uh, so I think that's for material side. So uh, other two objectives, I want to provide the uh, provide uh, to run the machining performance, to investigate the machining performance, and also the third objective to optimize find the optimization. To determine the optimal machining parameter on to life uh, of the insect, the third one using Taguchi method. Okay, I see. So, uh, uh, well, uh, limit limit the work of material side. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, so basically, focus only on uh, machining part, lah. Yeah, machining part. So, uh, how much uh, improvement compared to the in term percentage, how much you, you, you improve your on machining? So basically, you got uh, 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 the optimal parameter, and then how much uh, improvement compared to the existing? Uh, uh, compared with the other, ah, uh, compared with the other. This obtain result are slowly slightly lower than report by this chart at the same amount of lanthanum oxide addition. Uh, slightly, I, I think uh, this researcher found uh, the hardness and fracture toughness better than my 0 0.7 lanthanum oxide. But I I uh, provide more result on on this this uh, this one. Uh... For material part, but for the machining part, in terms of uh, tool life, machining part, I I I don't I don't found any other researcher doing this machining part, this this uh, composition. Okay, I see, I see. Hmm. But in in uh, material side, there is uh, one of them is the chart. Actually, the chart uh, for any student from. So, yeah. so, so, how do we know, um, in terms of machining part, your your work is better than others? I don't know because I I can find other researcher doing machining part on this. Uh, I I would like to say I'm the first one. So basically, uh, so, uh, so so we get this composition as a insert and run with the full experiment. Okay, okay. Okay. That's okay, it thank you, Shafi'i, for the questions. And I think you have one question from chatbox from Alimi, Dr. Alimi. Uh, hi, uh, why you compare your specimen with sandwich coromat cutting tools? Is there any specific reason? Thank you. Ah, because the, the base composition, same base composition, 
alumina habis composition my uh, specimen my 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 specimen categorized as a alumina based material so sembik chromium tool is alumina based material also before this i compare with before this ah before this with uh, magnesium magnesium oxide before this i took make alumina and alumina added with ZTA added with uh, magnesium oxide and i compare with commercial available from a uh, sembik chromium kenametal kenametal tool but when i'm doing xrd experiment i found that this kenametal tool is silicon silicon nitride silicon nitride base uh, so it's not fair because silicon nitride is far better than alumina base material so this time I'm carefully and I found some big Roman tool I create alumina based material instead alumina based so I take this same big Roman tool all right okay uh, any more question okay no question I think uh uh, that's all. Uh, thank you for uh, Hakim for the presentation. Very interesting. I think dah ready go lah. Nak boleh submit. InsyaAllah kena rating. Rating chapter 4. Chapter 4. Yeah, 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 insya yeah, InsyaAllah. InsyaAllah. Uh, pray for 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 uh, for for the this is uh, going smooth lah. Alright. Okay. Uh, with that, thank you Hakim again. Alright. Uh, Okay, I think I'll proceed now with my uh, presentation. I will share you, okay, allow me to share the, the slide. Okay, don't worry, my slide is of only just 10 slides. Uh, nothing much to see. Just uh, uh, what we call as to uh, meet the quorum only because uh, usually we have two presenters. So at the moment, no presenter. So I just add myself uh, uh, to complete the numbers. All right. Okay. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Very good afternoon. Okay. Uh, thank you everybody to attend this uh, webinar. I hope my voice is loud and clear, and you can see my slide uh, clearly because. I'm using a very uh, a very old all old, 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 old school way of presenting using a, just a, a white background of slide. Okay, my my talk is about uh, facilities refurbishment or recondition or uh, reuse or something else like, uh, which bring the same uh, meaning lah. Okay, uh, MFRL's experience, what we did uh, in the, in this uh, thing uh, for the past, I think in the last 10 years back. Okay, my presentation will, will be, uh, uh, will, uh, the content of the, my presentation uh, start with the research allocation. We know that it is important. Uh, to run any research without money, cannot do anything on the research. And then how uh, financial sustainability uh, is all about when we talk about research, because uh, when you don't have any money to run the research, so how we can get or to ensure that uh, you are sustained, uh, financially, uh, not fi uh, financially, but in other way of uh, uh dealing with the research and then uh the reason why because of what and then therefore we decide to do blah 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 i will share you later on the slide and we i will share you also uh uh four case studies that of uh, four product or four machine that have, we have refurbished at the lab so that we can uh, uh sustain uh until now even though we we run at very uh, minimum expenditure and lastly, the, the summary. 
Okay, Alhamdulillah, uh, we know that uh, from uh, the latest budget, uh, the government uh, allocate more compared to the last two years. Uh, for example, uh, uh, in 2022, it's about uh, 200 million, uh, 400 million plus, and uh, in 2023, it's less, 364, and then Amila in this uh, next year will uh, 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 we can see that uh, large amount of increment which is about uh, 510 million dollars for research only for two, under two ministry which is the uh, ministry of higher education and also the ministry of uh, mosti yeah? okay however uh, we can see that uh, even though the money is there but the, the competition is very high because nowadays we know not only uh, public universities, they are, the, the research funding also open uh, to the um, uh, private universities and also uh, other, uh, other parties. Uh, yeah, even though there are, there are also um, a grant or funders from industry uh, as, as well as other government bodies, but uh, we uh, at FRL Metal Forming Research Lab, which is uh, really new in this uh, in this industry, so at the moment uh, to to secure a big grant from uh, uh, other ministry probably at the moment still very low. Therefore, we need to find other alternative uh, in order to sustain. Um, even uh, if we look into the latest um, requirement of the uh, fund, for example, a uh, Mosti grant, uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the guideline, the, 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 uh, the objective of the grant usually more on the product design, product development, not more on uh, fundamental research uh, uh, as what uh, Mohi or Ministry of Higher Education uh, provide, but the numbers uh, uh, you can see still keep uh, reducing uh, toward the years. Uh, even uh, I heard that in the next year, FRGS also uh, not really FRGS. There are many adjustments made in order because uh, in order to uh, yeah, in order to move forward or for the industry uh, for the research in the, in, in, in the country not just about uh, uh, playing around with the fundamental, but, but also uh, move forward in terms of product development and, and higher. Uh, so therefore, we need to find a strategy so that um, uh, with the minimum expenditure, with the minimum uh, grant secured from, from various sources, we can still sustain, we can still alive, we can see, uh, can move, uh, even though in very uh, slow pace, pace, but still moving. Uh, that's the main thing. Uh, okay, uh, from my reading, uh, there, there, there are uh, many ways of obstacle uh, when we talk about financial sustainability among the universities. Uh, yeah. Like, first of all, lack of government funding definitely is true, uh, especially for university like USM. Uh, uh, because I, from my visit to various universities, uh, uh, private and also private, a uh, new private technical universities, we can see the difference. Uh, they are, especially last, last two weeks, uh, I have a visit at the UTEM, uh, uh, Faculty of Mechanical Engineering, UTEM, where we can see when we, when we compare their facilities, the, the, the additive manufacturing facilities only, compared to the, the USM, they are far, be, uh, they are far away. Uh, they, are, they are a lot, I think they, are, they have a comprehensive uh, facilities in terms of additive manufacturing compared to us. Uh, yeah, as a research university, we, know, we admit that um, 
uh, government uh, allocate more uh, for new university, technical university uh, to uh, uh, on the uh, budget for buying facilities, but not for research university like USM. So we need to rely on the research grant. However, as I mentioned just now, the competition is very high. Even FRGS uh, is very competitive, it's difficult to, to get it. And, and then even some of the grant, research grant, even not allowed to buy uh, machines, to buy facilities. And even if, if you put or uh, you propose uh, to buy a grant, uh, you buy a machine in the grant, most likely they will be slashed or they will be removed from the proposal. Uh, uh, unless the grant like uh, pro pro uh, PRGS or Prototyping Research Grant Scheme and uh, probably Tech One and so on, but that's much more difficult to, uh, to, to secure. Uh, yeah, intense competitive situation, as I mentioned just now, reliance on one source of, in of income because nowadays university uh, uh, too much rely on the uh, intake. And even related to number four as well, low in, in uh, university enrollment rate. So therefore, uh, the, uh, yeah, even though uh, the staff uh, from public university, they are encouraged to go and find the uh, project uh, from uh, as a, in terms of consultancy and so on. Uh, but it not really much uh, contribute, especially on the research, because if you go for consultancy, usually is a project based, not really much uh, contribute or give you uh, money in terms of uh, buying uh, uh, a machine, equipment, and so on. Uh, so at the moment, how we face it? Uh, so uh, to, to, to income justification, nowadays we are really uh, rely on the research grant, but after this probably we need to find not just public, but also uh, from the government fund, but also from the industrial grant, international grant, and so on. Uh, or another one, probably uh, we need to find your collaborators lah, from, from other universities or, or from the industries. And then, uh, on the income generation, as I mentioned just now, yeah, there are a lot of projects uh, out there in terms of consultancy, but not really much uh, contribute to the to the to the research because it's it's a project based. Usually, we need to uh, solve industrial problem, and then uh, uh, and usually nothing much can be uh, contribute to the research uh, purposes. And then uh, what we do uh, because in order to keep running in the in in, in the in the, in the field, we need to uh, make sure we have a even though uh, we can consider that we are at at a very uh, consider poor uh, poor poor uh, lab uh, uh, which is, which uh, contain if uh, we compare metal formulas lab to the other labs in the school I think we are far behind lah. but uh, anyway we still keep to move therefore and I with my team uh, I think uh, Together with some of the already graduated students, we uh, we uh, we come up with a call as a refurbishment or recondition or re restoration of the facilities, especially uh, uh, broken machines or abandoned machines or abandoned facilities or outdated uh, uh, rig, and also uh, some of the machine that are ready to demolish. Uh, listed as the demolished part um, uh, asset, and then we take it back and then do some modification before it can be used back uh, for for the purpose uh, for the uh, for the student in their experimental. Yeah, that the important thing is that we do it at very low cost lah, uh, so that as long as it's function, it meet the requirement, it meets some standard that we have set, then. Uh, uh, and if we can do it at low cost, is a bonus. Okay, uh, because of we are still new that and no name, I think uh, uh, that's that, that's why we need to strategize. We need to go uh, 
uh, up there and then try to uh, uh, expose ourselves. Uh, therefore, we have a few uh, platform, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, and also uh, YouTube channel, and also the website, so that we, we are uh, uh, people out there uh, know our existing. And then, uh, because of we know that to buy new machines require a large amount of funding, and usually, uh, in most cases, uh, difficult. I, I I bring you one case which is on the surface grinding. We we um, me me and uh, Dr. Daurin actually uh, proposed to the school for quite some time. I think more than seven to ten years to buy the surface grinding machines. Until now, uh, because we don't, I don't think we can do it. Uh, we can buy it through uh, research fund. Uh, uh, it's most uh, very difficult. Therefore, we through we want to buy through the school. So we just give all the school all the quotation and so on. But until now, we still cannot get it until the Zahoran retired. Uh, so uh, I will uh, show you later lah what we have uh, 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 developed uh, or we have modi uh, what we have modified on the certain machine in order to get. Or to obtain what we are planned to, and then uh, yeah, many grants government not allow for buying machine expensive equipment, and to secure the grant is very comprehensive. So therefore, we decided to find broken uh, like like, like uh, recycle uh, recycle scrap yeah and so on. Try to find a abandoned machine or to be demolished machine or parts, and then we try to find opportunities so that we can change some parts uh, to meet our our needs or add some part or update some features uh, in order to meet uh, the uh, the experimental needs. Uh, however, we still need to get a grant in order to, to survive. Uh, if not, I uh, don't think nobody will give us money. Okay, uh, I show you one of the uh, uh, this is a case study one, uh, which is on the uh, hydraulic press machine. Uh, we do have, we we don't have actually it at the school. Uh, this is um, what we have uh, is a uh, is a manual one. It's a manual one where uh, we need to pump the, the the hydraulic press so that it can press uh, through the uh, forming process. Actually, we are. I I found this at the scrap yard lah. Uh, been abandoned for quite some times. Uh, even we can see the the the, the pain of course dull, and then uh, nobody care about it. And then uh, uh, this Shawal uh, suggests me to take over the this structure so that we can uh, reuse it and then uh, uh, develop uh, what we call as a hydraulic price machine uh, and then we do uh, because I, before that I have bought few scrap yard uh, or reuse or recycle uh, reuse uh, use a hydraulic press uh, uh, from the scrap yard and then from that we can uh, uh, with the help of uh, I think uh, two uh, practical students we uh, develop the machine uh, repaint and so on and then uh, with uh, about uh, I think for less than uh, for about one thousand five hundred uh, expenditure to buy the 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 hydraulic hose and, and also the, uh, the the control unit and then I think we managed to do uh, to complete it and uh, its function. I think if you want to buy uh, this sort of machine, I think it's more than hundred k, which is uh, we save a lot on top of that. Even we, uh, the machine already being utilized by few courses lah, uh, for, for the lab and also the design. And I think uh, one of uh, our Zul is using his uh, using this facility for his experiment. Uh, case number two is uh, about torsion machine. I think this is the to torsion machine being uh, already being listed as the. Part to be uh, asset to be demolished. 
because at that time I'm the uh, the the officer that uh, um, responsible for the demol demolish. So that uh, I found it missing, and then uh, at that time many part already gone. For example, the lot cell already gone. The, the level also gone. And also, uh, the the the, the control controller here also not uh, function as it is. So I bring it to the lab, and then I think at the, at this at the time um, we have two students uh, related to this uh, uh, twist forming process. One is the uh, one is Fitri, and another one is Nazmi, and then. Uh, after uh, again spend about 1,500, we managed to buy the lot cell and uh, the ecosystem system, and then being put back by the student. Another one, this is the the, uh, the the grinding that I have mentioned just now, because we know that um, in order uh, we we are now um, uh, doing the research on why arc additive manufacturing and the specimen is very thin uh, in order to, uh, and uh, and the surface is not. Is very rough, so um, uh, and it is small, difficult to hold on the uh, conventional uh, lathe machine, uh, uh, milling machine, or, or space grinding. Therefore, uh, yeah, the, we don't have space grinding at school. As I mentioned just now, we cannot buy it until now. So just uh, I spent. I think this is less than one thousand. So then we can. Um, uh, grind our specimen before we can send for uh, wire, arc, uh, wire cut to, to produce the dog boy shape. Uh, and this is just uh, really uh, just completed and ready to be used by this uh, 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 this batch, uh, by this FYP batch. And lastly, uh, this is about the 3D welding. Again, we do custom it. From uh, the structure is uh, already in the scrapyard. We just take, retake it and then do modification. At the time, I think uh, the the student named Firdaus, a practical student, helped me in in fabric, uh, uh, fabrication of the the structure. And then now is uh, already being uh, utilized by many students. Even we have used it in the lab, for example, for OEL and also for the uh, experiment. Uh, I think about six students from even from uh, material school also use this facility for uh, his project, and then uh, he already uh, one uh, master also just graduated from uh, for for his master study, uh, and I think we we uh, got a lot of uh, interest from industry to look into the detail of these machines, but and now I think uh, it's under Zadira now uh, for that. Even uh, one of the OEL uh, project conducted by student last year, we compare the the, the deposited material using this machine uh, with the KUKA, uh, which is about worth 160k up there uh, in the robotic lab. Uh, we can see that the in terms of material properties uh, like uh, uh, hardness and uh, tensile strength is about the about similar. So it's uh, it's uh, it's means that uh, because they are using the same technology, the the the, the MIG. Uh, the only uh, uh, difference is probably the uh, the surface roughness because using coca is because they are using dedicated uh, uh, welding machines uh, uh, for for uh, high, uh, better uh, deposition compared to us using I think. Uh, about a 1,400 ringgit uh, welding set. So yeah, you can see the difference lah. Uh, how much uh, uh, the different term of uh, money need to spend. Okay, I think uh, uh, and uh, the conclusion for for this uh, uh, presentation is that yeah, we admit that. Research need at least three M lah, money, manpower, and machinery. Uh, luckily now, uh, I I I have uh, the manpower. I think I have uh, some student now to do a project that uh, uh, we we intend to do. And then nowadays probably uh, the money is uh, is our concern and the machinery. Therefore, we need to find the strategy so that we can solve the another issue of machinery with minimum expenditure. Alhamdulillah, at the moment, uh, 
looks uh, okay even though the lab is very uh time with uh, so many uh abundant or uh, recycle machines <laughs> but hopefully it, it will benefit others after this in the future uh yes uh so securing a grant is very competitive uh but uh, lack of fund is not an excuse uh for for doing research yeah we may be uh, move quite slow but uh, we will not stop uh, bringing back uh, our data broken to be the most priority into uh, into space could be a good strategy but need to be uh, uh well planned uh, so that we will not waste your money your, your little money yeah. then uh i think uh that's all from me um uh any question assalamualaikum doctor assalamualaikum uh, i have one question uh, actually i have two questions uh one is uh how how do how can we ensure that uh, when we design the machine to uh, it is considered acceptable uh, for use as a lab uh, do we design it uh, com compared to another calibrated machine or do we design it based on uh, certain standards uh, because we are not designed for certain standards one because uh, because we have the component that we have is just from whatever we have can Mm. And then second question is that uh, do we have do you have plan for to uh, actually commercialize the machines uh, because I I see there is uh, much potential and even just now I just written back from uh, delivering one machine from our spin off company <laughs> so memang oh. they are, I think there are many many uh, they should be there will be people that are interested especially in the warm apparatus uh, even if you can. Uh, let's say, for example, um, provide the same, uh, you know, a simple machine package properly. I think there's there will be yeah. some buyers will be interested in the in the apparatus. So, what's your plan for for the for that machine, particularly Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you, Fadil, for the questions. Okay. First one. Uh, first question is about uh, how we want to ensure. Okay. Uh, uh, my strategy is we use both lah. One. Uh, uh, um, we uh, take or refer to literature so that uh, um, for example um, the current research being done by Zarira now is on um, the interlayer adhesion where uh, we know that uh, for uh, our product uh, produced from the machines uh, because we have uh, tested on the uh, uh impact test standard impact test uh you can see that there is uh, uh the the, uh, the 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 interlayer joint is not that good uh yeah most likely we need uh, further study on uh optimizing the parameters but until uh, 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 but at the moment uh we can see that uh there is one of, there is one of the main problem therefore uh uh we uh, what, what our strategy is that we try to find a, another uh, uh, from literature for another uh, other works by other people so that from that we can uh, uh, improve uh, the the the, uh, the 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 specimen produced or depos deposited material or deposited bag produced from our machines. Uh, another one is we. Um, uh try to comply as much as possible on the standard uh, test because that's very important especially in uh, uh for example very uh, easy example is on for example on the uh, uh tesla test uh, we know that uh, to get uh, 100 mm length uh, specimen uh, to meet the real uh, standard, uh, the, the, the geometry uh, set by the standard uh, STM is quite difficult. Therefore, we try to find in another paper, which is on the uh, reported journal, uh, how they deal with it. Because we know that to get the size is very difficult. 
Uh, so uh, at the moment we see that um, there are various sizes of uh, uh, dot boy shape, and uh, we try to meet that lah. And then uh, I think that's one of the strategy lah. Another strategy lah because uh, by comparing others, another one by looking into the standard. I think we need to do both because uh, uh, the reliability of the result is uh, very important in the research. Okay, on, on the second question, <clears throat> well, I think we, uh, 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 from my attendance to the uh, uh, seminar and conference that related to the uh, uh, metal additive manufacturing, uh, the main uh, uh, burden or the main issue that they are talking now is about the cost. Lah. Uh, because uh, uh, to get or to secure or to to buy a machine uh, warm, at least uh, we need to have at, for a good uh, uh, machine warm, uh, warm machines is more than 500k, which is too expensive. Even if you want to buy, uh, this is because warm is uh, the lowest among the, uh, the, 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 the techniques. Because if we compare a powder based uh, additive, metal additive machine is much more expensive up to 1 million, which is, I don't think many people afford to buy that. So, uh, one of our strategy nowadays is we already uh, uh, proposed or we have already uh, uh, listed by Maranti, uh, one of the government company who uh, arranged for pitching with uh, industry to get the investor. Uh, we, we, are we are dealing with Maranti now, hopefully by next year, uh, we will have a session uh, with uh, industry or investor in order to uh, uh, to get collaborator lah, so that we, they can invest and they can commercialize the 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 the, the, the facilities. Another issue, another strategy is, is I think on on the twentieth of December uh, this uh, this month, uh, Zarira will uh, uh, exhibit. Uh, the machines at the at UTM uh, for one of the exhibition, uh, and now we are uh, improving uh, so that we hopefully from that we can also uh, find a collaborator who will are willing to collaborate uh, to uh, move forward or bring this uh, technology up. Uh, I hope that uh, it's uh, uh, answer your question. Okay. Any other questions? There's a line in the chat box. Uh, okay, no. Okay, any question? Okay, uh, if no if no question, uh, I think uh, that's all for uh, our the fourth series of research webinar. Hopefully, we meet again uh, next year with the uh, new faces. Uh, because I think we have uh, a few more students who are ready to present their their their, their research. Uh, uh, and before we end, uh, hopefully uh, everybody can switch on their video so that we can, can see your face. Uh, there are a lot of faces I didn't see quite sometimes. Uh, Alimi Azam, so that we can uh, have a photo session, uh, just a few seconds. Yeah, Atir also from uh, from Iraq. Hopefully you are fine, okay, with his uniform. Yes, sir, how are you? Uh, fine, Alhamdulillah. My friend, uh, Mr. Nazri. Kamaro, buka lampu. Okay. 
Uh, okay, no problem. Uh, Chapi, no problem. Uh, oh, oh, good luck for your uh, Viva soon. Thank you, thank okay, you. Uh, Amir and Amir. Okay. Okay, uh, okay ready. Uh, Zarira, tada. Okay, tak apa, no problem. Uh, I will... Uh, okay, ready. One, two, three. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, see you next uh, next webinar. We'll set inshallah next year. Uh, I will uh, send you the certificate of attendance soon. Uh, inshallah, we will be prepared by uh, Puan Zarira. And again, I would like to thank everybody who attend this uh, webinar. Inshallah, we'll meet again. Ya, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Thank you, sir. Assalamualaikum. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Thank you.